friends and welcome back to Understanding Numbers series. In this video, we will take an in-depth look at two-digit numbers. Let us first start with understanding what a digit is. Every language has symbols which are used to write in that language. For example, to write words in the English language, we use the letters A to Z. We have symbols for uppercase as well as lowercase letters. Similarly, in every number system, there are symbols to write numbers and these symbols are called digits. In the previous video, we learned that the number system we use is called the base 10 number system. The base 10 number system has 10 digits. These are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Every number in our base 10 number system can be written using a combination of these digits. Let's identify how many digits a few numbers have. The blue number has 1, 2, 3 digits. The yellow number has 1, 2 digits. The green number is made up of 1, 2, 3, 4 digits. And the pink one has only 1 digit. In a number, the position or place of the digit is very important. So every place is given a name. The last digit of every number is said to be in the ones place. And the one before it is in the tens place. The ones and tens places can also be thought of as houses where the digits reside. And ones and tens can also be abbreviated to O and T. For our understanding, we will use sticks to represent the digits in the different houses. In one's house, only individual sticks can be present. In tens house, we can only have bundles of 10 sticks each. Since the highest possible digit is 9, the tens house can have a maximum of 9 bundles of 10. Now 9 bundles of 10 is 90. Let's see. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 and 90. And one's house can have 9 separate sticks. And that is why the highest possible two-digit number is 99. Let us now see the representation of all two-digit numbers using bundles and sticks in the two houses. Starting with number 1. The number 1 has one digit, so it can be represented by one stick in one's house. 2 can be represented by 2 sticks in 1's house. And similarly for 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. As you can see, to get the next number, we keep adding a stick in 1's house. Now, we know that 1's house cannot have more than 9 sticks. So for the next number, when 1 stick is added, there is no more space in 1's house. So the new stick has to be accommodated in the tens house. But tens house can only have bundles of ten sticks. So the nine sticks which were already present in one's house combine with the new stick to form a bundle of ten and that bundle goes to the tens house. When a new stick is added for the next number, it goes to the ones house. So 1 in 10's house and 1 in 1's house is our number 11. Remember, 1 in 10's house actually means 10. So 11 is not really 1 and 1, but it is 10 and 1. The next number is 12, which is 10 and 2, then 13, 14, 15, and so on, until we reach number 19, which is 1 in 10's house and 9 in 1's house. When a new stick comes for the next number, it again combines with the 9 existing sticks in the 1's house to form a bundle of 10 and that bundle goes to the 10's house. 
So we have two bundles in tens house. Therefore, the digit two in that house and nothing in one's house. So zero in one's house, which gives us a number 20. Similarly, the numbers 21 to 29 are generated. And after that, when a new stick comes, once again, a bundle of 10 is generated to give us a number 30. And this continues for 31 to 40, 41 to 50, 51 to 60, 61 to 70, 71 to 80, 81 to 90, and 91 to 99. Now both ones and tens houses are full. So what would happen when a new stick is added for the next number? Stay tuned for the next video for that. I hope you found this video useful. Please like, share and subscribe. I will soon be back with the next video wherein we will be discussing three digit numbers. Until then, keep learning.